Piping hot corn right out of your cooler. Yeah, we're going to explain this what? one when we come back with Chef Rachel Perrin for tips on this unusual technique. It is getting to be that time of year when we are finding corn on the cob on our dinner table. I love this time of year. Yeah, but if you're away from home, don't fret. We found a pretty cool way for you to get piping hot corn on the cob out of a cooler. Mm -hmm. And Chef Rachel Perrin from Kowalski's is going to show us how to do that. So I'm guessing step one, remove beer from cooler. <laughs> I almost feel bad that this is what I'm doing. This is so easy, but it's such a great tip if you want to make corn for a huge crowd. Yeah. Uh, yes. 50, 75 people. Really? You want to make corn for a group. One okay. or two coolers. You can make that much corn at one time. Oh my it's gosh. easier than, well, it's as easy as boiling water. I can do so, that. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so you start with just your shucked corn, so fresh uh, sweet corn. We've got okay. the great untight sweet corn, which is the state fair corn that you can get there and you can wait in line okay. for it. You can come to the store, you can get it there. <laughs> it's up to you. But um, you shuck it just like you would normally do it to, to put it in your cooler. Sure. And then you put it in a clean cooler, no beer, no ice. Or rinse it. Just cleaned yeah. out. Rinse it out. And then get the um, bugs out of there. Fill it up about halfway, wow. uh, maybe no more than halfway full of actual corn. Okay. And then pour in boiling water to cover the corn. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Shut it. 30 minutes and don't peek. Okay. Don't peek. <laughs> don't let all the heat don't out. Don't let all the heat yeah. out. But 30 minutes later, your corn's perfectly cooked. And it stays that way in the hot water. You can leave it at a picnic That's for key. two to three hours, and it's perfectly that safe. It'll key. stay hot and delicious. No kidding. That's it. Okay, so as Just you might have figured out about me, I tend to overcook things. Uh, <laughs> and when I'm boiling corn inside, yes. it gets a little bit mushy. Or if right. I do it on the grill, I tend to burn it. Right. But this, this is, is super foolproof. Like you actually can't overcook it because it's with that 30 minutes, the water will come down. You know, you're not continuously boiling it on the stove yeah. top, so you're not yeah. keeping it hot. This this is it. This is done. So when it's huh. when it's finished, what do we want to put on it? Maybe some butter. butter. Yeah. Butter. Lots of butter. You know, I'm You've pretty classic. Butter. Some nice, good quality. Maybe some artisan hand rolled butter is great. Yeah, this is um, fancy butter. That's good. I didn't stuff. know that you could get fancy <laughs> butter like this. Special cows. Really great tasting special butter. Cows. I think butter is not just your you know, regular cow. All you special need. Cow. They're a special breed of cow. And then I like just salt and pepper. But if yeah. you know, some people like something a little bit more interesting on their corn, mm -hmm. you probably already have a shaker of Parmesan cheese in your yeah. cooler. That's Ooh. a great thing to tote to a picnic too, because you can just leave it on the table. And if someone wants a little bit of spice or something. A little bit different. You may have some chili powder, some ground oh, ancho, or ground chipotle. It's colorful. It's a little spicy. It's a little fun. Something a little different. Yeah, and you went fancy here, melting the butter and putting it on. I always just roll it atop the corn. Is that acceptable? <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You don't want. You don't want I to don't, condone that. But I all right, I understand. Well, I <laughs> condone any and all use of butter in any in Good. any way, shape, or form. Okay, That's great. That's why we like you. Yeah. That's why we have you here. And you know what? You. This has got to be probably the simplest tip that you've shown us, yes. but I think I like it the most well, because it's something that I think both you and I can do. Well, in case this was too complicated for you <laughs> or you want the uh, best grilled chicken recipe, we do have the recipes for that at WCCO.com slash links.